Hello everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. We are currently looking at my web browser as we're going to need that to download the resource pack that has been released today. This tutorial is going to show you how to get that resource pack working on your computer with Java edition of Minecraft. Now if you don't know about this resource pack it's eventually going to have all the textures that will become the official textures for the game. They are going to change all of them from all the blocks to all the items to all the mobs. Everything is getting overhauled and you're able to try this texture pack in advance and then you'll be able to give Mojang your feedback. So this tweet from the Minecraft account says try the new Java textures and then let us know what you think download the new Java texture pack here. So if we go to this website, which there'll be a link to in the description box down below, you can find this article. And the very first link right here, this green text will allow you to download the resource pack. If you click on it, um, it'll give you this file with a crazy bunch of numbers and letters. Now, wherever you save that to on your computer, you need to get that on your clipboard. Wherever it saves it to, right click on it, and copy it so that we can paste it into the resource pack folder. Now I've already done that so I'm just going to cancel that but basically there's some information here that you need to know about. Um, there's some examples of the textures that have changed. Pretty cool right? And then down below there's some very detailed instructions pretty much telling you what I'm doing in this video but I figured if that doesn't work for you on the website if you've got a video sometimes people work better with videos right so if we go into Minecraft you can see it right here we need to go into options and then into resource packs and you can see the resource packs I'm currently running uh, we actually need to take these off don't we and then we need to click down here on open resource pack folder and it will open up that folder on your computer so here is where you're going to paste the file that we downloaded earlier just right click and paste and it will put that right there for you and then of course you don't get to see it here yet right um, we've got to click done so it unloads the resource pack and when we go back in we can now see the new one so we move it from that side over to this side we click done it's going to you know load the resource pack and then we're ready to log into our world and check it out so I've generated this world with mini biomes the idea being that we could see lots of different things that you see in the Minecraft world all in one location for example down here there is the spruce forest biome whatever it's called next to it there is the dark oak forest so you can see some of those textures a regular oak forest over here a swamp next to some extreme hills look at those lily pads I know you see the lily pads <laughs> they got a crazy line through them and uh, yeah you know you can see how the textures are different things like flowers even the pigs look slightly different right that's because the whole thing has been overhauled now what I did in a separate video on my second channel is I went through everything one by one we looked at every single block we looked at every single item mob we went to some different biomes and structures like the ocean monument and checked everything out that video ended up being very long so I thought I'd make a tutorial on this channel and tell you about it so in the description box down below if you'd like to see a video going over all the blocks and changes in detail uh, then you can do so however right now we're just gonna have a quick flick through this menu as all of the textures are here scan your eyes over everything that you see. I'm going to point out some that I like and some that I don't. I think that's a yucky texture. I think the color of the moss stone is fantastic. I'm not keen on the cobblestone texture itself. Um, so that's the first page of ones right there. Then you've got your decoration blocks and you can see the saplings here at the top. They look really cool. I'm just going to scroll through here. So many things have changed. One or two things have pretty much stayed the same. For example, terracotta, the glazed ones, no need to change any of that. The beds have changed. A couple of the heads have because mob textures have changed and that is a very cool fancy looking item, right? Uh, here is your redstone menu. You can see some blocks that have definitely changed over here and I think the new redstone icon is pretty cool. Into transportation you can see all of the boats have changed their icon looks and oh it's all exciting stuff right. In here though I gotta say the diamond texture should not change in this game it should stay the same forever I think and I'm not a big fan of the ingots but I'm gonna scroll through here. I do like the dyes I think the dyes are really cool. The ender pearl looks a little bit more glossy than usual and some textures haven't actually changed like all of these eggs the nether warts and the seeds I think they are the same as before and notice how nether quartz here looks quite different. The never start also looking pretty fantastic and let's go to the next one there's all of the food stuffs right there golden apples look crazy oh I feel like I'm never gonna get used to seeing these and when we go into tools you'll notice that these haven't actually changed only the shears and the flint and steel here have changed well the fishing rod as well the name tag and the lead and also the books but the bulk of the tools there 
are the same as before. The same goes for armor and weapons as well. Even the arrow and the bow didn't get an overhaul. And there's the new totem of undying as well. And then into brewing, I think the potions look absolutely fantastic. Uh, but that's a quick look at everything. And on my second channel, there's an in-depth look. So if you want to head over there and check everything out, you're more than welcome to do so. Link is in the description box down below. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, I did forget to mention one thing though. So let's pop back over to my web browser. Just below the instructions on how to install this on the website, it says, but Mojang, how do I give you my feedback? And it gives you two links, their own website and Reddit. And I've got those both open. This is the website where you can go to leave feedback. That link is obviously in this article, which I've linked to in the description box down below. And there is a Reddit thread where you can go and post all of your feedback as well. Uh, so that is it for me, this tutorial. If you have enjoyed it, leave a like. As always, thank you for the support. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.